good morning children welcome back today we will study about sexual reproduction that is the reproduction part 3 children flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant stamen is the male reproductive part and pistil is the female reproductive part flowers which have only the stamen or only the pistil are called the unisexual flowers and the examples of these unisexual flowers are maize papaya cucumber etc so the children flowers which have only one reproductive organ that is either male or female they are called as unisexual flowers and the examples are maize papaya cucumber etc then flowers on the other hand which have both the stamen and the pistil are called as bisexual flowers or in other words we may say that flowers which have both the reproductive parts on the same flower they are called as bisexual flower for example rose mustard petunia and china rose i will show you the uh, china rose flower etc then stamens the stamen has a filament and anther the anther contains pollen grains which contain the male gamete so stamen is the male reproductive part of the flower and it is made up of two parts the anther which contains pollen grains and which has the male gamete then the pistil has stigma style and ovary this is the female reproductive part of the flower the ovary contains a ovules which contain the female gamete or egg now in sexual reproduction male and female gametes fuse together to form the zygote as you can see in this figure children here you can see the parts of the flower first so stamen is the male part of the flower and it is made up of two parts filament and anther then pistil is the female part of the flower it has three parts the uppermost part is called as the stigma and the long tube like structure is style and the circular portion is ovary now the structure of anther children you can see anther is bilobed having two lobes and it contains a pollen sac which bears pollen grains and the another part is a stalk like structure which is called as filament now regarding the female reproductive part of the flower which is called as pistil you can see in this figure it has stigma style and ovary ovary is the swollen portion at the base stigma is at the top and style is a tube like structure it contains the ovule which is the female gamete or which contains female gamete or egg so these are the figures which clearly show the parts of a flower which is a bisexual flower and children this flower is china rose china rose is bisexual flower because both the reproductive parts are present on the same flower now coming to next is reproductive parts of a flower children you can see in this diagram reproductive organs in a plant flowering plant rather stamen which is the male organ and carpel which is the female organ you can clearly see in this picture uh, stamens are yellow in color and carpel is shown in dark green 
color now the structure of the stamen stamen as i told you has two parts one is anther which is bilobed and the stalk like structure is called as filament then structure of carpel or this has stigma style and ovary as you can see in this uh, figure when we cut ovary we can cut it tra in trans we can cut ts of ovary that is transverse section and here you can see the ovule arrangement of ovules in the ovary and we can cut it by ls section that is longitudinal section and again you can see the arrangement of ovules in an ovary so carpel is also known as the pistil which is the female reproductive part of the flower now coming next is pollination children pollination the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower is called as pollination pollen grains are transferred by wind water or insects if pollen grains land on the stigma of the same flower it is called self pollination so children pollination is of two types one is self pollination another is cross pollination so in self pollination if the pollen grains lands on the stigma of the same flower it is called as self pollination now if the pollen grains of one flower land on the stigma of the another flower it is called as cross pollination as you can see in this figure so first is same flower and figure second is the different flower so in first we can see there is cell pollination and in second there is cross pollination so regarding the fertilization we will study in the next video thank you children thank you and have a nice day